Today we're going to discuss the types of statistical tests and how to solve them in PSPP. In this presentation, we're going to use PSPP to solve for the statistical analysis, Excel for data encoding, and of course, the problem in this presentation is found in Modern Business Statistics with Microsoft Office Excel. So, for steps in hypothesis testing, number one, state the null hypothesis and the alternative hypothesis. Number two, choose the level of significance. Number three, select the appropriate test statistic and establish the critical region. Number four, collect the data and compute the value of the test statistic from the sample data. And number five, make the decision. So for this presentation, we're going to discuss the Sperman, Sperman rank correlation. So the Sperman rank correlation coefficient, or the Sper, Sperman's correlation for short, is a non-parametric measure of the strength and direction of association that exists between two variables measured on at, least, on at least an ordinal scale. Okay, so it is denoted by the symbol RS or the Greek letter rho. So we call it Sperman rho. It is a useful test when person's correlation cannot be run due to violations of normality, a nonlinear relationship, or when ordinal variables are being used. Also, if there are outliers. Okay, so if there are outliers, you can use Sperman rho or Sperman rank correlation. To test for the relationship instead of person's R. So, Sperman's correlation is used to determine whether there is an association between high jump performance and time spent training. Alternatively, you may also use Sperman's correlation to understand whether there is an association between length of unemployment and health status. So, the significant relationships. So assumptions, the two variables should be measured at the ordinal, interval, or ratio level. So either of the three. So ordinal, customer satisfaction, intelligence for in ratio, and weight for interval. Okay. So there is a monotonic relationship between the two variables. You can confirm this one using scatter plot. The variables need not be normally distributed. So there is no the assumptions of normality. Sperman rank correlation is very sensitive to outliers, so this can, even if there is a, relation, a linear, linear relationship, if there are outliers, you can still use this one. Okay, so outliers are observations within your data that do not follow the usual pattern. And of course, there is independence of observation, so you cannot observe the same respondent for, for two results. So procedure in PSPP. Encode data for variable 1 and variable 2 in PSPP. Click on Analyze, Descriptive, Statistics, and Cross Tabs. In Cross Tabs, select one variable for rows and another variable for columns. In Statistics, select Correlation. Okay. So, PSPP does not have, do not really have a Sperman row. Okay. Or that was the Sperman row, but it will not give you a p value. And your result is actually a t-value. So, in Excel, you can use your t-distribution to identify it for the p-value. So, identify the t-value, the degrees of freedom, and, and state that it's a two-tailed test or a one-tailed test. Then, you use the t-distance function to calculate for p-value before you make your conclusions. Okay. So, let's have this problem. A student organization surveyed both current students to obtain information on the quality of teaching at the university. An analysis of responses provide the following teaching ability rankings. Do the rankings given by the current students agree with the rankings given by the recent graduates? Use alpha equals 0 0.10 and test for significant rank relation. Okay, so HO, there is no difference between the ranking of current students and rankings of recent graduates. Then for alternative, there is difference between rankings of current graduates and recent graduates. Our alpha, our alpha level significance is 0 0.10. That is statistic for to be used is per Monroe because this is ordinal. You are going to analyze ranking of teaching abilities. Okay, so ordinal ang both data set for current students, uh, ranking current students, and ranking of recent graduates. So the p-value is 0 0.10, so we will reject the null hypothesis if your p-value is less than 0 0.10. And, okay, so let's go to the problem. Okay, so these are the professors and the current students' ranking and the recent graduates' ranking. 
So in PSPP, we have Professor Professor Current Students Recent Graduates. So, decimal value is 0, is 0, and 0. Okay? This is nominal, since that's the professor. This is ordinal. This is ordinal. Okay? Then, in your data view, it's ranked from 1 to 10. You simply copy this one. here then if you want to check if there is a relationship so okay so medyo my relationship but anyway just like let's just checking if there is relationship so don't really care if there will be outliers or not as again, Sperman correlation is not concerned with outliers. So analyze descriptive statistics, then cross tabs. Okay, you select your rows and your columns. In statistics, we use correlation. Okay, correlation. Okay. Then, okay. and then this is now the symmetric measure. So my there is a person R here, which is it shows a T point forty one approximated T, and a Sperman correlation which also uh, showed a three point forty one approximated T. Okay, so in your Excel. Is simply cap is 3.41 then since there are 10 so 9 and then sig 2 tells that this is 2 okay okay there is no significant relationship between your present and current graduates then we use equal t dot this okay dot 2t okay Two tail test, so that's two t. Then our x is three point forty one, and the degrees of freedom is nine. So okay, so this is now zero point zero zero seven, which is less than point zero five. There is significant relationship between the ranking of current students and recent graduates. Uh, this is 0 0.007. And if you look at your if you look at your scatter plot, then you can actually say uh, there is a positive linear relationship uh, between your recent graduates and your current graduates. So the professors are ranked accordingly. So that's your Sperman raw using PSPP and Excel.